G'day guys, welcome back. It's bloom day. I'm with my little step out of the way. <laughs> I climbed up on the step so I could look into the screen. Now, um, I had a 3D bloom resin uh, workshop the other day and each of the ladies kind of looked at all my bloom coasters and sort of picked one for their inspiration and a lovely Karen chose this one and uh, she used the same colors and um, she she had white around the edge though see mine's got like a the caramelly color around the outside and it was so gorgeous so I said to her I'm gonna pitch that idea again so doing the same thing but having white around the edge hopefully instead of the caramel color so let's get started and I am using the geode square this one is also in my eBay store if anyone's interested in it I just thought I'd change it up a little bit and do a different shape for you so I'm using the platinum art coat which is a lovely thick thick resin so you don't have to wait as long for it to thicken up um, I have let it sit for 20 minutes. I'm just going to go over to my scale and pop 45 grams in there, which is one and a half ounces, and that will be for my white. And I'm using the Carsten Craft, again, just because I can actually measure for you, um, you know, how much, how many drops to put in. Because when you're digging, you know, into... Um, a container of pigment paste it's really hard to know how much you're using because you know you can't count the drops you just sort of dig your stick in and hope for the best so I thought I've been doing it like this for the last few videos um, just for those people that are still struggling with their blooms and hopefully that will sort of help you a little bit make sure they all go to the edge there now this isn't this is not going to fill my mold up it's probably about three quarters I did 125 grams of A and 115 grams of B so 240 grams almost a cup so that's it there all right so now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to drop my inks and like I said, I'm using yellow, orange, and brown. Same as I did in that other coaster. Same as what Karen did. Hi, Karen. Hi, everybody that came to my class. <laughs> it was a lovely day. Hopefully they enjoyed themselves. And they, oh my gosh, you, you, they did such beautiful blooms. Some of them had never even played with resin before. And I don't think any of them had done blooms before. This is the cast and craft. So four drops, one, two, three, four. I always chop the nozzle off, otherwise you're squeezing forever and never get anything out. And then double of that, so four drops of cast and craft and eight drops of the white piñata. Make sure you mix it really, really well though, shake it, because the paste sits on the bottom and then the alcohol's on top. So that's how it's alcohol ink. So make sure you shake it really, really well. Otherwise, you'll just get alcohol out. All right, so eight drops of that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've just been liking having more of the alcohol. Um, I, I think it helps spread. Uh, and I mentioned it before in one of my other videos. Do you remember ages ago, like over a year ago, when I was doing those resin featherings? And if I added more alcohol, the color would float. And if, if I added less alcohol, it would sink. So similar sort of theory is what I'm thinking. More alcohol will help the color float and not sink to the bottom. But also you need to have a nice thick resin. Oops, I shouldn't be mixing that. I should be dropping my inks. You can sit there for a minute. So in the center, we're having Let's Resin Yellow. Now these are high concentrated, so to me, this is just my theory, they have less um, alcohol in them and more colour. And I find that they 
sometimes they don't spread as much as some of the other colors although these are spreading well <laughs> oh, making a liar out of me and orange now there are two types of yellow this is more of the sort of a darker yellow just going around the outside of that the colors will all sort of pull in from the outside and I don't want them to sort of eat up my yellow too too much so I'm kind of going a little bit further out come on out you come I'm worried about squeezing it too much because then you get this whole big spurt I think let's resin have been listening to us though I think they've changed their bottles to droppers so we'll see see how the yellows being encroached upon by the orange so there we go um, you, one, two, three, four, five, six. You don't look as if you've got enough orange. Here we go, a little bit more. Okay, and then the other one is brown. How now, brown cow? And we'll just go on the outside with the brown. Do want to leave a little bit of space so that I've got white edges. I do like my white petals on the edges. I was wondering what to do with the corners. I thought I might drag a stick sort of out towards the corners. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> we'll see what happens. There we go, there's the brown. I find if I tip it and then like tip it back like this, then you get more coming in. You actually don't have to squeeze it, it just drops out. <laughs> just figure that out. All right, so those are the colors. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to swirl the outside like that. Just to kind of blend that but not blend it with the other colors on the inside just sort of so that we've got a ring of brown I'll wipe that and then I'll just swirl that orange as well looks pretty doesn't it I'll put another drop of yellow right in the middle just just to be on the safe side because the yellow tends to get eaten up a little bit But you'll notice that, well, hopefully, when, when I unmold it and turn it over, the yellow will be on the other side. So, all right. Um, now, what's the time? Now I have to wait. I've got seven minutes. I've got seven minutes to wait until my 35 minutes is up. So, like I said, I stir for four minutes. I write down the time that I stopped stirring. Then after 20 minutes, I come and decant, and then I wait another five, uh, sorry, 15 minutes, and then I pipe. So 35 minutes all up from the time I stopped piping. So that's what I do with this particular resin. And my temperature in the room at the moment is it's just gone to 21. It was 20 earlier, but it's just gone to 21 degrees. So 35 minutes should be fine. I'm just taking my gloves off. I'm gonna put you on pause. Um, and then I will come back to you in about six minutes and we'll put the white in the bag. So see you then. So I've still got a few minutes left and then I thought I might just leave the blooms in circles but pop a tiny little bit of gold sparkles, crushed glass. Um, just in the corners and see how that looks, hey? Why not? Just gonna put a little little spoonful in the corner and I'll go and poke it down in a minute. Otherwise, what else do you do with your corners, hey? I don't know. 
I mean, it's nice for a change to do something that's not round. But of course you could, you know, get your stick afterwards and pull through into the corners because that would look really pretty. And I will do that in another video. But for today, I'm just going to see how this goes. Just using a little level, tiny, tiny little spoon. I don't even know what size it is. It's just a tiny little thing. Do you see, Wincy? And I'm using the crushed glass because it's going to sink as opposed to regular glitter that's just going to float away. So these will hopefully stay in the corner. Um, and then, uh, you know, you can always paint the edges with um, your gold pen and that would look really pretty too. So that's it with the gold. Oh, I've got two minutes to go, two minutes to go. Actually, I better put my gloves back on. Just put that one back on. Just going to kind of put that in there like that. Just poking it down so that it's all covered in resin because at the moment it's just kind of sitting on top. And you can have as much or as little of this as you want. Just want a little hint. I did get my stick and just sort of very gently <laughs> sort of swirl the edges of that brown just to sort of make it a little bit wider because you know how resin always pulls from the outside in I had no brown left on the outside I just give it a bit of a swirl just to have a little bit more brown on the edges there there we go poke that in how am I going for time oh, oh one minute okay better get a wriggle on It'll wriggle on. This is going to have to just be how it is. I didn't think about it until afterwards. I was standing here waiting for my seven minutes to be up and thinking, oh, I'm going to put some gold in the corner there. And then, um, yeah, I think it would be nice having a little bit of gold paint on the edges. Now, because I've been poking around in this, I've made a few bubbles. So I'll have to give them a bit of a torch just sort of spreading them out I'm just doing like a little V shape really oops that one didn't get done nearly missed that one nearly missed him did you guys tell me you've missed one all right that'll do right so get my glove back on every little corner just a little tiny burst of hot air there okay here we go how am I going for time all right probably like a minute over that's okay I'll pipe quick <laughs> if you leave it too long your resin will start thickening up and it won't spread as well like it won't bloom as well It won't necessarily drop, it just won't spread as well. Um, and also if you pipe your lines too thinly, then it won't spread as well either. So it just takes practice. Now I snip the end off that. I want a reasonably big hole. Yep, that'll do. I don't know if you can see the size of that hole. Oh no, you're not on autofocus, sorry. I've got you off autofocus, but the brightness is up, so can't have everything, I'm afraid. Okay, here we go. Start piping. And I'm just going to keep going. I'm not going to do my petals too big because I want everything to close up. If you if you pipe your petals really big, like if you only do say three rows. You've got more chance of some negative space. So it just depends on how many rows you want. Okay. Oops, one more there. Just sort of trying to get into the corners. And it's not a very opaque white, like it's more like a skim milk. 
can sort of see through it on the stick. I'm trying to get as sort of close as I can to the edge of the mold without touching the, the edge. I'm always lopsided, I don't know why. <laughs> I always am just winding that back up again. 45 grams is plenty for four coasters, I find. And it's just the right amount for the four drops of cast and craft. So I'm just sitting this on top. It's not going into the resin, it's just sitting on top. And go around again. Some places have got more room than others. I'm always lopsided. There we go. All right, wind it up again last time. You're gonna make you're gonna be really careful that you don't drop your paper towel into your resin. As you know it's sticky, so things can drag. I remember one time I picked up my little stick that was sitting on the paper towel and uh, it was stuck to the stick and then of course the paper towel got dragged into my work. I was so upset. So just all these things to think about. Okay. I'll do a little circle in the middle. Don't need to, but I've got a bit of extra. Now I'm not going into each corner. I just want to leave it like that. And I've got a tiny bit left over, see? So 45 is plenty. And I don't want to do 40 grams with four drops. Um, I just, I like it a little bit more transparent. Oops. Now I'm just going in and just sort of breaking up some of these blobs. You don't necessarily have to, but it's just to be on the safe side. And you can't sort of take that straight through because it'll disrupt the petal on the side, on the, below it, so I sort of go off to the side. to do it on all of them just if you see the, the big blob that sort of needs to be smoothed over I think it's going to be really pretty I think it's going to bloom nicely it's looking as if it's spreading well already there's not much more I can do here actually A little bit there. It's already starting to, to bloom, so I can't really do much more to it. I'm only sort of fiddling with the top here, not really touching the bottom. All right, so the next thing we need to do is, I'm just gonna give it a quick little torch, and then I'll do the swirl. I like to sort of do the swirl last thing so that the resin's had a chance to sort of thicken up more. That way you get a really nice swirl that holds its shape. What do you think? Do you like my, my little gold corners? So I will come back and put some black on the background. So I've got a couple of different sizes of these. See the silicone? Silicone tips there, this big one and little one, depending on what you're doing. Right, here we go. So I'm going to just start in the middle. I'm not going to touch the bottom. Come around on the outside and then back into the middle. In the middle, round towards the outside and then back into the middle. So out and in, all in the same direction. It just makes it a little bit neater in the center, doesn't it? Otherwise, 
it's kind of, it might look a bit of a mess because <laughs> that's where everything stops and starts in the middle there. Okay, rightio. I think that's going to bloom beautifully. Um, I'll just get my gloves off and then I can bring you down for a bit of a close up. Um, can I? Yes. The only thing is, if I take you off, if I put you back onto autofocus, we're going to go back into darkness. But anyway, can't have everything. I'll just hold the brightness button. <laughs> See, if, if when you're videoing, if you lock your focus, you can lock in and have it a little bit brighter. But um, you can't lock your brightness in when you're on focus, like it's on autofocus. Like, you can't have everything, unfortunately. All right, so there we go. Righto. They are set enough for me to do the top coat. And look how they've closed in oh my gosh i'm so excited about these i think i'm gonna love them i've got a tiny little bit of color that's sort of crept along towards the outside so i might not have white white totally white along the edges because the white's kind of pulled in across the color but i think for the most of it it will be pretty white if you look at that one it's quite cream on the outside that's the top the side that I poured on these ones do seem to be whiter on the edge so let me pop you up on the tripod I've got my black mixed up and uh, we'll do a top coat so for the top coat I'm using the platinum 360 plus uh, just because it's a little bit thinner than the art coat and it's good for a, a top coat because it spreads nicely and uh, it also sets up really quickly so both of them will be set by tomorrow morning I'll just do this one because you don't need to watch me do all of them just do one actually I'll change oh, it doesn't matter I was gonna change. yeah yeah well <laughs> it's got lots of little bumps to get into I'll change over to this um uh, what will I use I'll just use this little silicone one see that way I can get the the black into the little points there I'm basically just making a little wave behind the resin so it sort of goes in to all those little edges on its own I don't have to push the resin into it just push it up near there and uh, it will find its own way so I'll just do one for you and then I'll do the others on my own because it's pretty basic you don't need to see me do all of them hoping it's going to be really pretty looks as if it's bloomed beautifully here goes the gold goodbye you always worry at this stage that it's going to turn out nicely hey oh, fingers crossed hopefully it will I love this mold it's really nice and then what you can do is you can put little silicon bumper feet on the back if you're going to use it as a coaster um, little silicone bumper feet I'll try and get, I'll try and remember to get them out and I'll put them on tomorrow so that you can see what they look like so that's basically it I'll just make sure that the resin's gone into all those little points is that it I've got them all Oops, that one I've gone over the top of I'll fix that all right so there you go um i'll give it a quick little torch and um i'll do the others and then i'll just put a little bit more on just to sort of fill them all up i don't like to put too much on at once i'd rather make sure it was all spread and then put it on rather than it overflowing because that wouldn't be good little torch all right i'll finish the rest and i will see you tomorrow right here we go it's the next day oh, i'm super super excited all right let's get them out that's the first thing we need to do is get them out hopefully i haven't got too much 
spillage over. There we go, it's a tiny bit. I'll just push down like that to release them. It's a tiny bit of overflow there. It kind of sticks to the, the side. Okay, there we go. Let's move it off to the side. Get them all out first. Oh, I'm so excited to see what these are going to look like. Oops, another little bit there. I can see a tiny little bit of gold in the corners there. <laughs> I said to my husband, I'm so excited about unmoulding these tomorrow. This was last night. I said, oh. Hopefully they're going to be really pretty. Release that where it's got a tiny little bit of overflow and it kind of gets a bit stuck. So there we go. All right, let's move that out of the way, shall we? Oh, and I don't have to put black card on because we've already got the black background. Oh my gosh. All right, let's move these out of the way actually so that we can just do one at a time, hey? Pick, pick, pick. Right, so this is this was the inspiration, but um, yeah, I was just hoping for more white around the outside. Okay, so that's what we're sort of hoping for. But I'm I'm hoping it's going to be even better than that. Okay, without further ado, stop fussing, woman. All right, here we go. Oh wow, look at that! That's exactly what I wanted. I love the gold. What do you think? That's so pretty. Got a little bit of yellow in the middle. Not a lot, but we have got a little bit of yellow in the middle. And the white on the edge. So can you see the difference? So this one's more of the creamy caramel outside petals. And then this one has got the white on the edge. Yay! Love it. All right, let's put you over there. Now the others are all going to be the same, no doubt. Here we go. Yes, same. Woohoo! What do you think, guys? Do you like these? A little bit, a little bit different, aren't they? A little bit different. It's nice to do something a bit different. I think it's the shape really that makes the the difference. Here we go. All the same. It's lovely when they're all the same, isn't it? Then you've got a matching set. Wow. So this one, obviously the, the petals look a little bit, um, a bit lighter, as in I probably piped my lines a little bit thinner, so they're more sort of wispier looking. And this one, a little bit more dramatic. Love it. And you can see just a little hint of yellow in the center. And that kind of matches with the gold, I think. That's the kind of look I was going for. All right. Lucky last. Here we go. And there it is. Yay! Oops. I get fluff on my background here and then it picks up onto here. Love them. Let me know what you think of these, guys. If you like these. If you like this mold shape I think it's really pretty very nice oh I was going to show you the little um, thingies for the back wasn't I hang on I'll just go and just go and grab them so I've got two different sizes um, they're just like these little you know silicone little bumpers um, you know, you put them on your cupboard doors and drawers and things like that to stop them from banging. So there's the little tiny ones, which you know, I think I'll use the bigger ones. I think I'll use these ones. Oh, I cut my nail the other day. So I haven't got much in the way of nails left for picking. All right, so let's just put one there, like so. And one there. Just peel off easily. One there. I like the ones that aren't too high. I try and get the ones that are as sort of thin as possible. 
so there you go and then that just sits there that stops them from stops them from moving see that moves like that that doesn't move so yeah that's them um, easy way to put a little backing on and of course if you're using uh, round coasters I've actually got little round corks I'll do them another time and they've got sticky backs I'll, I'll show you how to do those another time right oh there you go all done I'm so happy with them it was the worth the wait I was so excited when I woke up this morning I thought oh I've got something to unmold <laughs> all right thanks again for watching you guys and um, I will see you all real soon for the next video but yeah let me know what you think of this one love it all right take care everyone see you for the next video Bye for now.